Hey folks, welcome back. It's turn 82 in the medieval era, and we're playing as the Rapa Nui, who gives some interesting bonuses and have some uh, interesting twists on emblematic quarters. Uh, we're in a decent position. We're second in fame. Um, we are an era ahead of the person who is the fame leader, which is a very, very unusual position to be in against the AI, especially one of the default AI. I, I'm not really sure how that's happening. Um, now, we are planning another uh, conflict here against Brown. I've noticed that they have quite a few units, uh, specifically these kind of old spearmen that'll get upgraded to pikemen eventually. They have just entered the medieval era. They also have these Samnahaya. Um, so I am going to need more units than I currently have if I want to go after them. So I am going to start building up uh, some extra armies. And... I think this city is probably the best place to start building stuff because I do have all the infrastructure that will give um, extra kind of experience bonuses and uh, those kind of things to uh, the the like the industry cost reduction to the units. Um, and looking at the fact that they have Samnahaya somehow, I guess they must have an arms deal with uh, another culture, which um, I kind of wasn't expecting. I'm going to go for War Summon, so I have the option to upgrade to crossbows, and then go into Theology. So that's that's the plan. And, okay, got an Agrarian Aristar. Yeah, I'm going to have to do so much better on my money outputs here if I want any chance of winning this. Any civics that are useful? Not particularly. Okay. Sometimes I forget about civics. Let's see. Yeah, I don't want that. I'll go for that one, I suppose. Extra faith output is fine. It's not like the best thing in the world, but. Alright, this um demilitarized zone is actually getting pretty obnoxious, not gonna lie. Arms deal with the Celts, no thanks. I'm already in the next era and have much better units than that. So it'd be entirely beneficial for them. Yeah, start getting market quarters in here. Okay, and over here. Yeah, picking up curiosities is good. And honestly, I should... I'm just going to buy that out. I kind of want another set of units here. I'm just going to go something like that. That is quite a good unit to be doing offensive sieges with, given the bonuses that they get, which is most of the battles that, that you're going to be playing. Um, so I am uh, pretty interested to try this unit out and, and see how it goes. Only plus three industry for the charcoal kiln. <laughs> plus three money on harbor gives me plus three money. Who could have seen that coming? Um, actually, let's... Uh, should consider attaching down here. There's a lot of coastal benefits to doing that in terms of adding industry. So let's, let's do that. Let's put me in negative food. But we'll add some more market quarters here, I think. I'm not going to worry about losing some people. It really doesn't matter if I lose some farmers at this point. Alright. Any more grievances? Oh, nice. I just got one. Do you demand, demand uh, oppressing the faithful? And I should be able to upgrade these now. Yeah, it's 400, so it's going to take me a while to be able to upgrade my archers, but I'm going to have to do that against the Samnahaya, because otherwise they're just going to uh, shred my archers. I'm going to keep targeting these different pickups for the extra science and influence. And, you know, every once in a while you get like a free cog or something, which is always handy. How many more units am I building here, too? Yeah, so I'm just going to use a mass of these units. 
Yeah. If you're the gal with just like the mass uh, placates, I, I do think that those feel a little bit strong sometimes, but see, non aggression pact, the Byzantines. I'm going to refuse that for now, to be honest. I, I don't see any reason to have any kind of pact with them, and I know I'm going to be targeting them in the future. Okay, let's upgrade our first crossbow here. You're going to wait. You're going to wait. Probably have to just surprise war these guys, to be honest. I don't have the um, war support generation to really go after them. Gonna go around down here to avoid this demilitarized zone. And these guys shouldn't attack me, I don't think, given my um, current status with them. I could try to leverage these guys if I want to sign that treaty. Don't know if it's worth it. Oh, they're attacking me. Interesting. I'm just gonna renounce that. The Aztecs. They're in third. Eh, they're still behind me. I'm not too worried about them, to be honest. Uh, I'm mostly worried about the, the orange player at this point. Okay. The great fish market will be good for me. Um, I do need the fishmonger before I can build that. I do have a lot of trade routes. So I want to set up to, to build that uh, that infrastructure because it, it is quite strong. Also need the forge in here, I think. Got the forge before all that. Just little extra production efficiency. I don't want scientific correspondence. Thank you. Not with people who are behind me in tech. Been over this. So they'll get a grievance, I think, if I attack them, but it does increase my war support if they retreat, if I'm not mistaken, so. Yeah. Okay. Get the third tier of that. I should get my... Yeah, I'm almost three stars on, on building these things at the moment. The I'm not super impressed with the outputs that they offer, to be completely honest. How are they chasing me with these things? This is open water. Whatever. I didn't think they would chase me like that. That's unusual. Just renounce that. Uh, I would like to continue exploring though, so I am going to add another one of those units into the queue here. I have a lot of population in this city. Okay. Yeah, there's my third builder star, which is uh, pretty wild considering how long I've actually been in this era. Can I upgrade in here? Doesn't look like it. Yeah. I wasn't sure if I could upgrade in. Um, whatever these territories are called with the independence people. A little more war support here. And I don't want to deplete the health of any of my units. So I'll try to exclusively rely on ranged attacks here. Meh. Yeah, yeah, mostly got him. Only minus two health, so it shouldn't have any impact. All right, and then trade luxuries with the Morians. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. Actually, I didn't realize I didn't have that treaty already. Hmm. I realize I'm a little bit quieter than this episode than some of my other episodes. I'm really kind of processing a little bit, kind of what's next. 
I think I'm doing okay over here. Should maybe consider getting the getting Great Zimbabwe up. I think I'm going to do that actually. Because that will provide me um, some decent uh, seven turns though, even with everything focusing on it. Yeah, let's take that out of the queue for now. It's not quite efficient enough for me. All right. Let's demand that one. I'm gonna wait a turn and hope they don't use placates. And then I'll have um, I'll have some solid kind of base war support for starting a conflict. I think it's I think it's eighty now to have a justified war. If I'm not mistaken, I have to double check that. I feel like it was changed at some point in, in one of the updates after I uh, wasn't able to play as frequently. Yeah, 21 money would be really nice. I these This is the main output I'm struggling to get at this point, so I'm almost over-investing in money. But at the same time, right, I only have plus 188. Uh, obviously, like, I have some trade route maintenance that's going on. I should maybe consider dropping some of those trade routes. Let's take a look at the screen here. So I'm good with pearls. I do want to keep pearls. I do want the industry one still. Like, this one do I really need? I don't think I do. Let's get rid of that trade. I'll improve my income a decent bit here. Yeah, I feel, I've weaned this down quite a bit already. This is giving me plus 5 money on all cities. Well, that's 5, 10, 15, 20. How, but how much is it costing to maintain? Yeah, a lot. That's 60 to maintain. So I'm getting way less money from that than I'm actually paying to keep it up. So we'll get rid of that trade route for now. Okay. How are we looking here? 84. Yeah, so I could declare a formal war here. And I think I'm probably going to do that. They do have pretty even tech to me, but uh, these guys should give me a pretty good advantage when I am sieging their, their cities. So let's give a quick save here. And I, is this new? Or are these people new? I think they are. See if we can get a trade agreement. Great. And yeah, so they'll they'll start buying my stuff. And let's declare war against the Sumerians. We're just gonna go right in for it. No reason to dilly dally. I'm going to attack these guys first, so that they'll retreat. And these guys will still be able to join me in the in the attack here. Should be close enough. Lovely. Alright, so... Put crossbows up here. I doubt they're going to deploy anything in that spot. Um, these archers, I'm kind of going to keep in the woods back here. That way they'll have some cover against the Samnahaya shooting at them. Actually, these guys are completely cut off up here, aren't they? Never mind, let's not put them up there. Because these, I, actually no, I, I guess I have one tile there I can get up. So where would I want these crossbows then? I guess here I might be able to shoot through. And that gives, um, they're fortified in that spot, so I think that works. Okay. Alright. 
Yeah, let's kill this horseman. Yeah, 48 combat strength is pretty good. High ground there. Let's see. Yep, can attack those. Thankfully, they don't have a lot of ranged units. Somehow those boomerang throwers can attack. I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to play somewhat risky with um, some units here. I can't attack them. Odd terrain. Really wish I'd been able to attack from this side, honestly, uh, with this high ground here. But gotta make the most of what I have. But, Demilitarized zone, super obnoxious. Let's just go for the peasants first. That way, that kind of clears the spot for me to some extent. Let's go somewhere where I can shoot him. Maybe? No. Yes? Nice. Okay, great. That way I can get to those crossbows here. I want to start damaging their, their ranged units as much as possible. And then I want to put some pressure on the flag here. I'm gonna... yeah, I might send these guys kind of around the back. Pull these guys up. Like force them to keep moving units on there. Wow, they did one damage. Incredible. Love when that happens. All right. But, I mean, I get it. It's part of the game. To be clear, I'm not actually complaining about doing one damage to pikemen when I'm <laughs> using units that are an era out of date. Ah, how do they do so much damage to those uh, crossbows? All right. Pull these guys out. Move him there. Some adjacency. Take out the swords. And these guys are... They're the boomerang throwers, right? I'm gonna have to pull these guys out. Hopefully I can kill them. There we go. Get them out of there, and let's start working on the Samnahaya here. Get those swordsmen. Let's get in the city. Attack here. Attack here. Move in here. Um, I don't really want to put these archers at risk. These guys moved yet? Doesn't seem like it. Actually, maybe they have. There we go. So really force them to play aggressively if they want to maintain this city. Do I want to attack with these guys? I don't think so. I think I'm happy to not attack there. I could not lose any units this combat. That would be uh, really, really nice. It does seem likely that I will manage to do that. Let's move you there. Hoping if I shoot these guys, then I can... Uh, it's not 100%. Okay, worked out. Those archers. These guys are pretty low health. We'll just cycle them out for a new set of units. Go for that attack. Yeah, this uh, this combat strength on these units is um, quite strong. Big fan, considering my playstyle. Let's see. Do they have any more ranged units? No, they don't. So these guys aren't really at risk anymore, so I can just move these guys straight on up and a little bit of 
fire support. So, mm, not much I can do with him. Let's move him over here and hopefully get him up on the high ground in a little bit. Shuffle some units a little bit. And, um, you know what, I'm going to take these attacks and hopefully they kind of suicide that unit as well. Let's do it the same here. Because I would like to get my Militarist Era Stars, obviously. So the more units I can kill... Ah, I lost one. That's... I don't know what the probability of that happening was. It doesn't seem like it was particularly likely, but... Oh well, one unit for, you know, however many units I, I killed there. Pretty good trade, honestly. Okay, now occupying that. They have um, a bigger empire than I realized. This seems like the next obvious target to me, Urim over here. Ararma doesn't seem like quite as good as a city, and frankly doesn't have any resources, which is one of my main considerations when I decide which cities I want to go for. So let's uh, upgrade a few more of these archers. And we'll push forward. I think I'm probably... I probably killed the bulk of their forces already. Okay, what was this one? World Deed accomplished. Okay. Curiosity is fine. All right. Hmm. Just attack him. Unfortunately, that depletes my movement on these units, but he was zona controlling me. Would have taken ages to move around the side. Okay, over here. Explore a bit. Scientific facts. You get extra science on holy sites, or plus one faith and plus one stability on research quarters. I'm gonna go for the extra percent of science on holy sites. A fishmonger almost done here. Let's see. Um, oh, yeah, that sucks. Don't want to build that next to the moray. That's too bad. Pretty decent district still, though, if I put it over here. Plus two accesses. Oh, on copper deposits. Interesting, I actually didn't notice that before on um, some of these structures. So I don't have all the horses I need, but plus 29 money is quite a bit, given where I am. Let's get those. Okay. Maybe alchemy next? On, oh, guilds actually, I think, makes the most sense. The plus two money per trader. Uh, I would really like to continue to pump up my income here. I also need to think about building a couple more of these emblematic quarters. Don't want to lose access to them. I think that spot makes sense, since it exploits that stuff. And... Kind of same thing over here, maybe. Kind of bridge the, the river. Twenty-four money is good as well. Okay. Okay. What are people proposing? Scientific correspondence? No. Thank you for asking. No, I don't want an arms deal. Your unit sucks. It, well, it doesn't always suck, but at this point in the game, it sucks. Pearls would be good, I think. Um, Sixty-one maintenance. Actually, because I already have one copy of Pearls, if I'm not mistaken. I have multiple copies of Pearls. So, if I went to trade... Uh, who had the Pearls? Mm, where are they? Pearls right here. So, get one money per trader for Pearls. Cost 120 up front. Increases my... Cost by 61, so I'd need at least 61 traders for that trade route to be worth it. And I definitely do not have that. Okay, so let's not do that.
also going to get a holy site down in here, I think. I am having some stability issues. We'll just put it out of the way somewhere, like up here. Actually, uh, that was a mistake. I didn't mean to put that on the river, but it, it, whatever, it's fine. Okay, they've got a um, bit of a mass of people here for some reason. This guy is, I feel like this guy has retreated. So we can force this fight and then ha like kind of let these guys trickle in as reinforcements. The AI will typically bring in reinforcements even when it doesn't make sense to do so. Also gonna bring these guys in. All right. So, really what I want is marchers with access to the high ground. I think it's crossbows, really. I want a ring of healthy units around their reinforcement point. These crossbows will just bully them from across the water. Seems fine. Get up on high grounds. There we go. Okay. I'm going to make the unusual decision to not kill them. Because I want them to bring in their reinforcements. And I might actually... Yeah, I think I'm going to open up another spot for them to bring units onto. So otherwise, this is going to take a while. I don't want this to drag out for like multiple turns. Okay. And let's do a little more exploration. And let's see. Defiant, fanatical. See, no reason not to choose this one. Extra influence, little extra faith output, seems fine. What am I doing on fame? Okay, I'm in the fame lead, uh, but bearing in mind that the player behind me has been more efficient with their fame generation so far. Um, yeah. Those are kind of low health, actually. They only have one unit left to bring in. There's a militarist star, so pretty sitting pretty good on those. Once I get over to their territory, I should uh, clean them up pretty easily. Oh, they didn't actually bring that guy in, um, which is a little annoying actually, because they could walk back into the city with a single unit and recapture it. Interestingly, I can't upgrade these boomerang throwers, so I wonder if I'll ever be able to upgrade them. So I feel like they should be upgradable at this point. But I'm going to send them back to just sit in this city. Just so they don't sneak like a single horseman or something um, and, and take it back. Okay, no problem. Um, as my longtime viewers know, I'm pretty distrustworthy of auto resolve. Really don't feel like it makes good decisions most of the time. Yeah, 26 there is quite good. I am going to need a public fountain in here. Let's grab that. Oh my god. Yeah, I want the Great Fish Market. 113 money? 
should get the fishmonger in here too, just so it unlocks the fish market. Um, should also maybe start considering some remedies for stability. I guess I have the aqueduct I can still build in here. Also upgrade that one. Yeah, I'm finding it. Oh, that's so good. Um, I'm finding it very hard to justify just like spamming these out. Now, part of that is just the fact that, you know, I'm not, I didn't pick this for optimal gameplay necessarily, right? I picked this because it's new cultures and I kind of want to see what they do. Um, I'm sure in, you know, in other circumstances, they, the, those outputs would be more useful for me, but right now they're actually like the least useful output. So the ones I need the least in the game. All right, let's go after Urim here. Yeah, those reinforcements look pretty manageable. They do have quite a bit of high ground, but uh, thankfully they didn't keep any ranged units in reserve. So I, I don't have a single ranged unit I'm going to have to deal with this fight unless they bring others in from elsewhere. Let's see, none of them are in direct fire. Yeah. yeah. I don't really know where to put this guy, to be honest. This is not really a feasible attack path over here. I'm just going to concentrate breaking through the front. Yeah. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I was hoping I could kill them so I could get units in there on this round, but not happening, unfortunately. Just move down here to kind of cut off any reinforcements from coming up here and murdering my crossbows. Alright. We'll do. Yeah, let's take a look at tech. Um, thinking alchemy next, perhaps. Man, 14 copper. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, there is an argument for attaching this copper just so I can get more accesses there by building the charcoal kiln. Should build it in this city, I think, just so I, I get that. Okay, let's see what happens. That's oh, way more damage than I was expecting to take. Oh, those are knights. That. Makes some sense then. I'm gonna focus on the ones that are in the city. Which are a little more dangerous in my opinion. Because they aren't being combat debuffed. I actually have higher strength there. Thanks to my sapper abilities. Nice, I can get to them this turn. Come on, there we go. Okay, so this opens up some options to kind of attack from the back. And yeah, they don't have ranged units, so I'm not worried about like, I killed their only one that they brought in as reinforcements. So I'm not worried about kind of getting my lower health unit sniped. So I am going to go ahead and take melee attacks where I perhaps might not otherwise. I might lose this unit. Wow, they did a lot of damage. Uh, knights are pretty good in the right circumstances. Go ahead and take those guys out. Swordsman, no problem. Okay, in the city. And... Let's get them to a spot where I can actually use them. Yeah, I was a little worried about these guys, if they concentrated their forces, but... Farces? Their farces? Their forces? Um, but thankfully the AI aren't particularly good at, at using their 
uh, their armies. Wow, we're at 35 minutes already. Jeez. Uh, so we'll, let's get through the next turn, and then we'll we'll cut it there. Okay. Yeah, this would actually be a good spot, I think, because I should take this city on this turn. So hopefully a satisfying resolution to this episode. I'm actually going to do that. Just want to get as many units in here as I can. I don't think there's anywhere I can really go where they're going to be able to shoot. Okay. Mm. Pull those guys out. guys are a little vulnerable here. If I lose one unit, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. For not to, obviously. But yeah, This is very difficult terrain to attack into, really. Yeah, I'm going to lose these guys. That's fine. See if I can take these peasants out. Very nice. Attack those ones. And these guys, maybe? Anywhere I can go where they're useful? Doesn't seem like it. Alright. Take that attack. Uh, I'm actually going to do that one, even though they're low health, because I can kind of properly block these pikes. There we go. I don't know why I decided I was going to click that button there. I need to end my turn. Or end my round, I suppose. There we go. Okay, a little extra gold. Mikane. Uh Not the greatest spot. I'll, I'll break up my kind of adjacency there. So I'm thinking somewhere else makes more sense. Yeah, somewhere with multiple outputs probably. So right there on the river, I think. And up here makes sense to start building some market quarters into. So, uh, okay, great fish market, uh, pretty good income from that. So let's get that in there. Food market is going to make sense as well. Plus two money for traders, not quite as good as those ones, but it does increase my money without increasing my production costs. I'm gonna prioritize these um, infrastructure over these other things, I think. So influence, I really don't need influence on my population. Take a look at where I'm at here. Still struggling to get my merchant star. Maybe, maybe a diplo star this era? Maybe? See if I have, need to be more on top of these things. All right, I have some demands with blue. Oh, these guys have uh, vassalized the black player. Interesting. The oh no, sorry, in reverse. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that seems odd. That, but no, it's the, it's the other way around. They have a pretty big land mass there, and a little oddly shaped. Okay. These guys really not hit any of them. So annoying. But I think, yeah. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure they'll run out of uh, health when they attack me there, which is ideal. Okay, so I can now force surrender here. And hopefully I'll be able to take most or all of the cities that I wanted. So let's take a look at um, resources here. Yeah, so I think I'm going to prioritize spending here. Wish I could see the resources on this screen. 
pretty much all of that has stuff. So I want... Mm hmm. Definitely want the incense. So that's Chersky. Not sure what this territory is. Oh no, that's not Chersky, that's the name of the mountain. That's okay, that's all for. Uh, Lilia Berea, I think. Oh no, it's Mimosa that has the incense. Grab Mimosa. Alcor has the saffron and papyrus. I wouldn't have enough for anything else. What am, I, what am I missing on these two? Oh, this is like a core territory, I think. Oh no, it's that one there. I know it's... Hmm. Okay, so let's not take that one. Take on the yacht here. There's quite a bit of build up there. Is that worth taking? Probably not. Okay, I think I'm happy with that deal. And of course, we'll uh, we'll move to kind of pillage these uh, in, in the next episode as well. Um, oh man. Yeah, the, this, so this is missing a lot of the early infrastructure and has pretty much no population. So this is, again, one of those situations where it just makes more sense to, to pillage it. This one, on the other hand, has more of the base infrastructure and a, a half-decent population, so I, I might not pillage this one. Okay, what do I want them to work on? Uh, flood irrigation would be nice, plus 56 food is quite good here. And then just so I have like one other thing for them to work on. Their industry output is okay, especially once I add some workers here. Let's go for the emblematic quarter. Obviously once I get into the next era, that won't be an option anymore. This can just work on... Um, something while it gets pillaged. Let's so add some stability in this city, I think. This has quite high industry, I think higher than this one. Yeah, quite a bit higher. So uh, I'll, I'll be adding districts more quickly here, so it's more important to have my stability in this city. Okay. Get pop, I get gold. I'm gonna go for the gold. I've lost access to some resources that they were, uh, maybe because I'm pillaging the, yeah, I'm pillaging that area, that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to renounce those. And just take a peek at my places here. I can upgrade one of these, yeah, extra 10 influence, it's okay. And I think the rest of them have a decent queue to work on for now. Yeah. So I think that'll do it for this episode. Um, so pretty satisfying conclusion, I think, with uh, that war wrapping up. Um, I have a bit of cleanup to do on my continent, but I, I think I'm... Assuming I get these two territories, I think I'm at a point where I can really start to focus on other players. Like, this land over here is really not particularly valuable. I think I control pretty much every luxury on my continent at this point and the large majority of strategics. Uh, obviously there are a few that will open up later in the game, but uh, for now it's not important and I'll have ways to access those later. So I'd like to thank you for tuning in. This one ran a little longer than some of the other ones, but um, 
Thanks and see you next time.